And the thing that really gets me about the calls for censorship is that every Every political argument is to some extent an argument about facts. If you had had social media companies in 2002 in the way that you do now, and they had uh, misinformation policies, who would be more likely to get bounced for misinformation? People who agreed with the government, agreed with the New York Times, said there were WMDs, or people who thought that like Bush administration officials were conspiring to lie to the public. So somebody's lying. Right. Do we want Twitter or whatever platform to be making decisions about like which of these sides is misinformation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't trust at all that they're going to take the side that I would want to on that. Of course, free speech is always who gets to decide. 